Right guys, so today is Tottenham away on a Sunday afternoon in this beautiful weather. Today, for some reason, I am so confident. I think we're going to win 2-0. Or I think we could scrape a 0-0 or a 1-1. Tottenham are in really, really bad form. Yes, they just won against like Lucas Mura FC or something, but they lost in the league 3-0 to Arsenal, 3-0 to Palace. And if there's any time to play Tottenham, it is right now. And we're in excellent form. We've won the last two games, Manchester United away, and of course, Everton at home. Or maybe 2-1, Son, Son Heung-min might score. Very big stadium, and I'm an excited for today's game. Come on, Villa, we're gonna win, yes. Very, oh, very false. Right, we've got Phil here outside the pub. Tottenham away today. What do you think today? I think we'll win 2 1 today. Win 2 1. Who's going to yeah. score? Mings and McGinn. McGinn. And where do you think Villa will finish the season? Fifth. Fifth? Yeah, yeah. we're going to get you ready for League. Up the Villa. Villa. Stadium looks amazing, especially in person. It looks really big. Villa fan here outside the Tottenham Stadium. What do you think today? We're looking good playing five at the back. Yep. Banging result at Old Trafford. Yep. We're going 2 1, Watkins and McGinn. Up the villa. Up the villa. But Nathan Daw here, obviously, big celebrity singer. What do you think today? Um, I'm reckoning 2 0 Villa. It's 2 0 Villa. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 2 0. Maybe a draw. Yeah. But if Villa win, 2 0. And uh, where do you think Villa will finish the season? 7 1. 7 1. Right. Up the villa. Up the villa. Thank you. Inside the stadium now, what do you think today? Oh, I think it's going to be 2 1. Um... Yeah. Villa. Inside the stadium. Never been, but it's very, very big. Hopefully we can win today. I'm going 2 0 John McGinn and Danny Ings. Come on. In 1982, the Villa boys from Aston, we travelled near and far. You can hear us singing. Come on, Villa. Absolutely all the time in the world. Jumin Son's got it. Took it, past, took it past someone. Hoy Bieg has got all the time in the world on the edge of the box. We've been crap, they've been crap. Our support as well has been so quiet. We're not really getting behind the lads. And it's 1 0. Them up there finally piped up after half an hour. Really poor goal to give away. Really poor performance so far. And it's not good. <laughs> Half time, Tottenham 1, Villa 0. Everything about that first half went wrong. Everything. Last week, Target and Cash were up those wings 24 7 versus Man United, and now they're absolutely nowhere to be seen. Tyro Mings, as soon as he gets the ball, just hoops it and panics. House played okay, Conza's got played okay, midfield. McGinn's an okay going forwards, but defensively, Louise McGinn and Ramsey have been crap. Watkins and Ings are so far apart. And Tottenham have been, have been crap as well. They've not even been good. I just don't know what's going wrong. Very poor, like, as soon as we get the ball, we give it away. No, Come on, I'm 
playing crap. Second half has to get better, I guess. I don't know, man. We're playing crap. Come on. All right, Finn. Half time. It's not been the best first half. What do you think of the game? I think overall Tottenham were the better side. Yeah. Target is not is struggling with Son. Yeah, he is. I agree. And they're they're the better team. Yeah. I think that we need to make bring Ashley Young on to Target and left back. Yeah. And then hopefully my final score prediction is two one Villa. Two one Villa. So we're gonna win in the second half. Yeah. Come on, up the Villa. Up the Villa. <laughs> Absolutely amazing tunes on the Tottenham club at half time. Absolutely belting out the stadium with all the fans over there. Full crowd, full crowd in these seats as well. Seriously, they've been crap. They've been worse than Man United last week. But we've been crap as well, to be fair. Our sport has not been good. It was alright to start with. The sound is just a travel. Anyway, come on. Mental, and it's just one ball, one square ball into the box, and it's jigged. No marking again, nothing. Oh, the whole game. We haven't seen them since. Martinez is going to hoof it, and where's it going to go? Wow, what a surprise! Oh. Is that oh. He's five foot seven. Come on, Emmy, show us your magic. Not bad. Oh. 
What the fuck was that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Ninety-second minute, and again, the fans have finally decided to sing two songs now. Jesus, they're falling out. Ninety-second minute, they're singing two songs. Oh my god! And it's carried on for more than five seconds. Right outside the stadium now, the game finished. Tottenham two, Villa one, and it's. We played so well in that second half. We scored a goal that we deserved in the second half. The fans went crazy celebrating and singing. And what, three minutes later, we leave Lucas Moura completely open in the box. He scores and then we just switch off completely. There's five extra minutes and four of those were spent because we gave, I think, four fouls away in the corner and Tottenham were time-wasting for four minutes. And when we finally got the ball, Tyrone Mings got it, done some weird skill that didn't even work and kicked the ball out of play. First half was a really bad game. Second half, we did well up until we scored, which I think was about the 60th minute. I don't really know. And after that, we were crap. Tottenham, I'd say, deserved the win. So what do you think? Right when we scored, like before we scored, yeah. as soon as we scored, the fans were quiet because we were still going mental, we were still celebrating. <laughs> and then they scored, then they just started. Uh, the fans were giving us grief, it's just, it's not nice. Yeah, it's not. And it's just a bit annoying. Like Chelsea away, we lost 3 0. No fans complained because how well we put up a fight and how well we played. No one complained. But today we lost 2 1 and we were dreadful. It's just not good. Just been to, I've been, I said this to my mum a minute ago. I've been to 40 league away games and saw two wins. Okay, well, that's not good, is it? Son was insane for Tottenham today as well. He really did carry their team and got, I think, two assists. McGinn was pretty good for us. Apart from that, can't say anyone else is good. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Nice little stadium. Well, not little, nice big stadium. And hope the villa, I guess.